Hi, my name is Keith Harris, and I have been a voiceover artist since 2013. Since you are watching this video, you probably have a lot of questions about what voiceover is and if this is something you can do. And I can tell you that if you can read and you like talking, this is most certainly something you can do. Oh! So it's just that easy, huh? Okay! Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another voiceover day vlog. Today I'm doing something that I'm gonna try to tackle very carefully, and the intro to this video may not be an accurate representation of everything I'm gonna say, uh, but that's kind of an angle that I'm coming from. Now, I wanna say this, couple things. There was a lot of people that approached, approached me via email, because I always say, uh, in a lot of my videos, if you need specific help or have any specific questions or you're too embarrassed to ask or too personal or whatever, leave that in an email rather than down below in the description or the comment section. And some people did, and they asked me if the Keith YouTube Fiverr course thing that I just played for you was worth their time. They were getting into voiceover and they wanted to know if it was worth their time. There were some people who were coming at it from more of a complete and total newbie to voiceover, and there were some people that were coming to as someone who, someone who has slight, a slight experience in voiceover and just wanted to get maybe a little bit of a leg up or a little bit more of an advantage. Uh, but due to the fact that the course is $100, let me just double check that real quick because I have it right here. Um... I can't see it. How much was it? I think it's a hundred dollars. Think back here. I think it was a hundred dollars. I'm not entirely sure because due to the fact that I've already taken the course, which is why I'm able to do this review, I, I, I just don't. I don't feel comfortable people for people paying a hundred. Yes, ninety four dollars. It's ninety four dollars. Okay, I just found it out. It's, a, it's about a hundred dollars. And that, when you're starting out, that is a lot. It's not, it's about the price of a decent microphone. So it's not that much. And there's more in the course than you might get in just a one hour, one on one coaching session. But there are some things in there that I just want to, you know, make you guys aware. I don't want to like ruin the entire thing because there are some people that I think it might help. And I do want them to go and watch it and actually go support it, but only if you are within the particular parameters. Another thing that I'd like to say is I have nothing against Keith at all. This is not a review on him as a voice actor or a coach or a course maker on Fiverr. Nothing to do with that. It also has nothing really to say about Fiverr itself. This is more of who does this apply to? I've ta I did the whole course, and I left kind of a negative review. I'm going to say a very negative review. It was one star out of five. But that had nothing to do with Keith necessarily. The problem that I had with it was, I mean, I've been doing this since 2006, 2008, something like that. I've been doing voiceover for a very, very long time. And there was nothing in the course that was new to me. In fact, there was some things that I probably, if it was me, I would have done differently, changed, or elaborated on a little bit more. But uh, that's just me. And again, I've been doing this for a very long time. And Fiverr had this thing, I don't know if they're still doing it, but it was, if you take cer certain courses on the, the part of Fiverr that you are doing, doing projects for, you, you make gigs for, it will boost it, it, in some way like it was going to help you proving to everyone that you had some sort of credentials, something to say that you knew what you were talking about. The problem is, is that the idea that someone who had been on Fiverr since it basically started and had been, has, you know, been doing voiceover for longer than Keith, 
not, not again, he's been probably working in his field longer than I have. He, he works in commercial narration. I work in character work. It's a completely different field. So for me to have to take that course was very infuriating because it was like someone just telling me all the same things I already knew and knew years ago. And none of the information was helpful to me. So if you're someone who is getting into voiceover and you have no, and I mean no idea what voiceover is at all, you've only heard the name and you're curious to find out what it is, then that would be a course for you. And the reason I say is because there's a lot of segments where he literally just covers what voiceover is. And I mean the absolute basics the very basics, and covers the basics of microphones and the basics of editing. There's some, it's, it's all very basic. That's the problem that I have, is that it's very, very basic. There's no advanced techniques. There's no proper mic placement kind of stuff. There's no, you know, for this kind of project, you, you know, this mic might, or this kind of treatment might be better. In fact, I don't even think he covers treatment at all. I don't remember. If he did, it was very, very quick. And maybe it was just like being a quiet space. And again, but again, he is coming from this from a commercial narration direction, from a commercial commercial narration side. And commercial narration, obviously, there's not going to be a lot of screaming. There's not going to be a lot of yelling. There's no efforts. There's no action. And what I mean by efforts is the sounds that you would make for a video game where it's like someone getting hit, someone running, someone shooting, you know, action sounds. Like those are those are efforts. And when you do stuff like that, you want to make sure that the room is very well treated, that you're not going to get any reverb. Because when you're yelling, obviously, there's going to be a stronger bounce back. When you're just doing commercial narration, you may not need all of this acoustic paneling. You may just need, need you know, moving blankets. For a lot of people, that's all they need. Because your voice isn't projecting so far, it, there's not as much energy going out, so you're not going to get as much coming back. So that's part of, I think, part of the reason he doesn't cover a lot of, you know, treatment and different mics and mic placement and distance from mics. Basically, it's the standard of this far from the pop filter, quiet space. That's basically it. So for the most part, the people that would benefit from the course are people who have no idea where to start. Absolutely no clue. You know, they... But the problem that I have with that is if you don't even know where to start, you don't even know what voiceover is, you don't know how to get a microphone, you don't know how to, the basics of editing, you don't, you don't know what exists within the umbrella of voiceover, whether it's telephony, commercial narration, book narration, long-form narration, technical narration, uh, radio spots, character animation, all that kind of stuff. If you don't know those, how did you even find Fiverr? How did you even get on Fiverr? So, again, I I have nothing against Keith. I want to keep making that clear. I have nothing against him. I've never met him. I would love, I would love to meet him. I'm sure he's a nice guy. He came off in the video, and this is just kind of a minor nipping. He came off a little bit disingenuous. He came off a little fake and a little bit too sales pitchy. He came off as if someone who was talking to children or someone who was talking to a puppet, like kind of like a kid's show. It was just the way it just came off to me. A little too animated, a little too, you know, like, all right, oh, here we go. Yes, and you know, and gosh, golly gee. And the problem with that is you're talking to adults. You're not talking to young people. And maybe that's just... Maybe that's just the natural way he talks. Maybe that's actually just the way he talks. I mean, I talk really, really fast, and there's lots of people who have complained that I talk too fast, uh, either in the videos or when I do voiceover, and they're like, can you slow it down a bit? And so that's just the way that I talk. And yes, I'm very animated. So maybe that's just something that he has. But I've watched some of his other videos, like his, I think he has like a YouTube channel, and I think he did something for, I don't know if it was Voice Bunny or something like that, but he also did a video kind of talking about them. And he didn't come off the same way, so I'm not entirely sure. So it's something that's, for me, someone who knows all these things, knows more than these things, would have done a, a bit of a, them different and you know, found it annoying to have to spend $100 to get some kind of advantage on Fiverr that Fiverr told me I would get and then ended up not getting. 
And then him coming off a bit too insincere, a bit too... It didn't, it didn't feel like I was sitting across the table talking to him. That's one of the things that I try to do with my videos on this channel is I try to come off as if you were just sitting there. You're just talking to me across, across the table, and I'm just giving you information. You're asking me questions, and I'm giving you information. This is exactly how I would talk if we were at, like, a coffee shop or a diner together, and you just wanted to pick my brain. This is exactly how I would talk. If that annoys you, I'm sorry. <laughs> if that's what you're looking for, then, hey, hit me up. Uh, but... It, it, it really just, it didn't feel like we were on the same page. It, in many ways, it felt like he was talking down to, to the, the people watching it, just the way he was saying it. And again, that could have just been the fact that I was annoyed. That could have just been the fact that I felt like even, you know, after the first three videos, like it was a total waste of $100. $100 is a lot, especially if you're first starting out. I've said this multiple times. Don't spend money where you don't have to. And this in many ways, might be one of those things where you really should not spend this money. I mean, if you go and watch my free to watch playlist, my complete voiceover guide, I mean, I cover more than that. Maybe he explains it better than, than I might in, in, in many ways. I'm sure he does, especially when it comes to, you know, the particular field that he focuses on. But it it was just so basic. It was so basic. It cost $100. If it cost more like 25, I think it would probably be fine. There's other there's other courses that are more that are on programs that you have to that you have to pay for. You have to get like a $20 membership or something like that. They don't cost as much as this. And that dro that blows my mind. And this I mean you can literally get Twisted Wave or or Audacity for like free. And that's like as far as like programming and as like the technical side, that's all you'd need. And so it didn't really make sense for it to be $94, especially when other ones that are far more technical, far longer, bigger courses that, you know, where you have to actually buy, you know, a program that's really expensive. Now, true, you do have to buy the microphone for voiceover. But in the video, it's kind of a, like he's expecting you to start from nothing. So expecting you to start from zero and then, you know, as you watch the video, you're supposed to like build, get the microphone, make your demo, all this kind of stuff. Now, I'm trying not to make this too long. I always do this. How long have I been going? All right, 12 minutes. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap up soon. I don't want this to go too long because if I go on too, too much, I'm going to go into the specifics of each course. And if you have a day job, if you have a day job and you're and you're making money, not off not off voiceover, but you're making money some way. So there's guaranteed income. There's guaranteed stuff that you could, you know, put aside and it's not going to affect your rent. It's not going to affect your bills. You'll be fine. Then you could put some money aside for, for this, for getting the microphone, for taking his class, you know, his course on Fiverr, for all this kind of stuff. You could do that. And it probably wouldn't hurt you that bad, especially if you're starting from zero. If you're someone who already has a microphone, has already made a demo, already knows what voiceover is, and already has, especially already has gigs on Fiverr, you do not need this course. <laughs> you do not need it. What would help you more would be to go and find someone online, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever, find another voice actor and then ask them if they'd be available to review your gigs, review your stuff. I do that a lot. And that's more or less what you need, because if you're already past the basics, if you're past the basics, you probably don't need to be spending $100. And the only reason I'm saying this, the only reason I'm saying this, I, I'm not saying this as any slight against Keith, none whatsoever. I have respect for him. I I I know nothing ill about him. I, I don't I don't I'm not spreading any negativity about him. The only thing that I am saying is that this might not be something that you should spend money on. Really, really consider it. Because it'd be better if you save that hundred dollars for treatment. Or 
I don't know, anything else involving voiceover. I mean, buying programs, getting a $100 USB mic, coaching for 30 minutes might be more worth $100. But anyway, um, so that's it. I hope... I hope this isn't just going to be like a, an avalanche of, how dare you say something about Keith? I didn't say anything negative about Keith. Nothing. Just reviewing the course from a professional standpoint. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Uh, leave down in the comment section below why you didn't like this video. If you thought it was too negative on Keith, despite how many times I said I wasn't. Um, totally fine. Uh, subscribe if you're new, bell for notifications, and leave down in the comment section below. If you'd like to see me review anything else, talk about any other topics, whatever. Just ask me questions. Totally fine. And until next time, peace.